there, big guy. Good morning. Probably about time you get up. I'm gonna get dressed now and uh, take you out because the vlog is not gonna be here. Now everybody sees that you have a little cracker there sitting in front of you that you didn't eat. Boy, he's tired or something. Well, let's go for a walk, my friend. Days with Jordan the Lion and Jaw begin now. Well, good morning, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. And the plan today, after we finish up this walk, is for me to drive to the ports of Long Beach, and we are gonna see a bona fide battleship. This is actually a battleship that saw action during World War II, the Korean War, and the Cold War. And it actually boasts having a cabin for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, we're close, can you tell? Well, here it is, the battleship USS Iowa. And this actually also says that this has the largest guns of any naval battleship. So let's go take a tour. This ought to be a lot of fun. Like I said, um, I actually have filmed a movie here a few years ago. I don't know what it was released as, but it was called Razorfin at the time, uh, or Dark Rising, Razorfin, something like that. And uh, we filmed it on this ship. I played a soldier. And look, they even have a little trolley that will uh, take you around town from here, bring you to the battleship Iowa. Well, here's the box office, and it's about 20 bucks to, uh, to do the tour. Here we go. It says this is a physically demanding tour, so if you have any mobility issues to not, not to push it, not to take the tour. So heads up. Well, here we go. Self-guided tour today, guys. First thing I want to see is uh, the guns right up here. Now here they are. He said these actually had a service life of 50 years and they could shoot 24 miles and they were actually the most powerful guns ever put on a battleship. Look at that. He said they were made especially for this ship. They said it's actually about a two hour walking tour or so. I'm gonna try and condense that into whatever you guys are watching today. Look at that. And then if we flip it around, those guns are blazing right at us. Look at that. Woo! Isn't that amazing? And they said for the self-guided tour just to follow these little yellow arrows. Fifty caliber. Each platform consists of two concentric sections. The outer section is a stationary projectile stowage area. Officer's wardroom, main deck. Oh, that's pretty cool, look at that. There's an outline of all the uh, voyages the USS Iowa took in its time. All right, let's follow the yellow arrow. Oh, 
officer's stateroom. Oh, wow. Interesting. Senior officer's stateroom. Man, that doesn't look all that hospitable. Bunk beds. Stairs. Nope. I feel like I'm in a space shuttle right now, kind of. <laughs> Oh, that's where we just walked through. Okay. So we want to go this way. Bathroom. Ooh, check this out. Gunpowder canister hatch. This is actually the section of the boat that I filmed in Now we got to go up this ladder. Range finder. And so in the movie, there was actually a scene where we came running through here. I think somebody told me they saw me in the movie. You could see me saluting the uh, in one of the scenes, but I remember we came running through here and out onto these decks. Dedicated to the brave crewmen of the USS Iowa who lost their lives on April 19th, 1989. Now, as I understand it, it actually was moved over to here and found it's <laughs> what they consider to be a permanent home in 2012, so not all that long ago. Have you guys figured out what this is yet? This is Franklin Roosevelt's quarters. Man, can you imagine? So this would have been his bed. And 
behind the presidential bathtub. Look at that. 1943. So he would have used this in 1943. His butt would have sat on that, taking phone calls right there. That was like, that was mainly one of the main things that I actually came on this tour to see. Presidential bedroom. And it was worth it. Oh look, they even have some eggs on the griddle. So this would have been, uh, that window right there actually leads into the uh, presidential quarters. So this probably would have been the people that cooked for him. Can't go up here, unfortunately, but I'm sure somewhere around here it'll take us up again. Oh, look at this. I know a handful of people that are probably watching this video right now and just loving it. Mostly in my family. So up another flight. My fear of heights is not enjoying this, of course. And since they said this is a two hour tour, I think I'm only gonna do half of it today and then I'll save the other half for another video. And another flight. And we're gonna walk through here. Oh, cool. Pretty good view. Oh, cool. Wow, flag plot, wow, that's cool. Another set of stairs. They said there's about six flights. Armored Conning Tower. Maybe I will do the whole tour today. I don't know. I think I've pretty much done it now. Cool. I think this is actually our last set of stairs. I am not a fan of these heights, guys. I'm sorry. I am not. 
I know it's safe, but I just don't like them. All right, that was it. Now we gotta work our way down all those flights. All right, first landing. Just see what's over here. Try and get all the angles. Oh, actually, on this landing, there's another little uh, a little dock you can take a look at. I guess might as well do that. It's only four steps. I think I can handle that. <laughs> it's not that bad, but you know, if you don't like something, then you just don't like it. So, pretty cool view. And I do hate when I have to cross that bridge. That's the uh, Saint. I think it's what is it? Saint Vincent or something? Vincent Bridge. Vincent Thomas Bridge. And we might as well see what's on this side too. Probably just the same view. But oh yeah, nothing. Oh, I guess you kind of can see more. Man, we are seeing pretty much everything. They really have this all access. Totally worth the 20 bucks. Too bad you can't go down this way. That'd be kind of cool. Harpoon cruise missile. It's another one, and that's the one we do get to go down in, so I guess I'm pretty happy now. They tell you when you start this tour to make sure you, as you finish it and you come down, go down um, kind of front facing and count the steps. Meaning, I guess it's dangerous and steep. And this is what's on this landing. That's like a vaulted door with a lock on it. You see that? And our stairs are right here. All right. Guess this tour never ends. At least it's worth it. I mean, at least it's interesting. We actually filmed in here as well. Oh, let's go down. Must be the old break room. And it looks like this is the uh, the main kitchen or the main cafeteria section, right here down at the very bottom. I think we pretty much yep crew mess. I think we've pretty much seen it all now. still working our way through here. I thought that was the end of it, but no. They just uh, they just put like a gift shop and all that kind of stuff kind of before you leave. That's what that is. The bakery. 
Yeah, this is literally the cafeteria. We're walking down to the the bowels of it all. Because we walked by a bakery and then there was a different section that was just for bread cutting. A whole room of just bread cutting. This is probably the least uh, entertaining part of the tour. The missing mural. During Iowa's third commissioning in the 1980s, crew members Blair Denning created a mural based on the image shown here. The subject, Lord of the Sea, originally appeared in the religious publication from 1944. Sometime before Iowa was finally retired, and for reasons unspecified, a senior officer ordered the mural removed. Currently, with so little of the artwork remaining, no restoration is planned. I feel like the way I'm filming today truly is like we're hanging out, so hope you guys are enjoying this style. Normally I don't do, uh, I wouldn't do this much of it, but. I'm guessing we're close to the end since we found the ship store, which is the gift shop. They actually have a pretty cool um, assortment of things you can buy here in the gift shop because they have astronaut ice cream, uh, a couple of different kinds actually. They have one of my favorites, the mallow cups, they have rock candy. That's a pretty good shirt. And for the kids. I thought we were done, now we're going up again. Well, at the top of there was immediately a door, and this is where we filmed my saluting scene. It was right here in front of these guns on the other side. Check that out. This is the uh, helicopter. Helicopter landing port. I don't know what they're doing. Well, I think that's just about going to do it, guys. I sure hope you enjoyed this. And if it wasn't your thing, I think it's good to see stuff like this anyway. Yep, that's all she wrote. We've made it to the end, and now we're gonna shoot a game of hoops. We're out of here, guys. Now they do actually have a flight simulator you can get into if you want. I just didn't, uh, I didn't buy that option with my ticket. And there she is, in all our glory. For now, until who knows when, the retired USS Iowa, thank you for your service and all who served on you.
Well, good evening, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed the USS Iowa tour with me, and um, I'm going to call it a night. I want to thank James H. for becoming my newest Patreon. If you'd like to become a Patreon and get a Christmas card from me, just become a Patreon uh, this month in November so that it's active on December 1st, and I'm going to send everybody that's a $3 or more donation a Christmas card. So there you go. It's patreon.com slash Jordan the Lion. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and good...